Hey Reefers, today we're gonna talk about AC controllable pumps. This is a serious innovation because you are able to plug a pump directly to the wall output without having nothing in the middle, no power supply, no other cables, or you can plug the pump into controller. But let's focus a bit about the range of controllable pumps we have. The first pump we are presenting now is the mover pump, which is divided in two range, the M nodules and the MX models. The difference in, in dimension is not so considerable, but what's the difference in flow is huge because the M size will arrive up to 7,000 liter per hour and the MX sizes will arrive up to 15,000 liter per hour. The other difference is about the magnet support, which is for 15 millimeters for the M sizes and 19 millimeters for the MX size. And we also have accessories for glasses up to 25 millimeters, just replacing the external part and an accessory for 50 millimeters, which you can buy separately. We have also recently introduced two new extra O-rings to be mounted on the internal magnet support for absorb every kind of abrasion when you are using the MX models on very thin glasses because you know that the pump can be used up to 19 millimeters but then when you are using the pump in a 10 millimeter glass that will be squeezed toward the glass itself and it's natural that some vibration can be transmitted, but this, with these O-rings, the vibration will be absorbed. When you're using the pump on a 19 mm glasses, you just have to remove these O-rings and mount them here. In this way, in this way, it will reach the desired extension. I do love mover pumps flow because being an aquarist I do appreciate the fact that the flow is so wide but gentle and massive and this means that if I place my mover pump in a tank I will expect to move all the surrounding water correctly without being focused in a precise point in the tank. But I can also reorient the pump wherever I prefer in a tank, which is a very important feature. And whenever I'm applying the pump below a coral bed, I will have the chance to apply the concentrator nozzle, which is included in the box, to get the flow narrow and don't affect to the corals over the coral bed. I normally don't recommend to use that. And about the protection grid. If you are using the pump always on, I mean 24-7, this is not useful. And this will reduce the flow. If you are using the pump with a timer and switching off the pumps for hours or something like that, then it will be mandatory to use this because in the time the pump will be off, some fishes can enter, but while the pump is on, it's not possible to have something entering inside here, but just the flow of water blowing out. Let's focus uh, now about another very cool feature, which is the maintenance. Even though it's very low with our pumps, the maintenance is very easy to do because it's enough to squeeze the front chamber here and it will pop up very quickly and you will be able to unmount the rotor 
by simply doing this kind of movement with your hand. You have ceramic on the bottom here, ceramic on the bottom of the chamber, which is very important because you reefers know how important is ceramic nowadays. And the reassemble is very easy to do in a simple way. So you can just mount the router and remount again the front chamber. It's very easy, so you don't have the need to unmount the whole body from the tank glass. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any question, you're very, very welcome to leave your comment here below and you will get an answer in the quickest time possible. Or you can write an email to our customer service at sales at Happy reefing!